Okay. Yes. No. Yeah. I'm not sacrificing. That's a no-go for me. That Sorry, shouldn't even be like something to sacrifice. Like, I mean, if I want children and you don't, there is nothing. We already know where we stand. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Or in my case, if I have children and you're not with it, there is yeah. nothing else we need to talk Goodbye. about. Goodbye. Who, who wouldn't want their legacy to continue? That's you know, why people that don't want kids, though. I know quite right. a few people that just don't want them. Mm-hmm. We're made to procreate, like. Why but you know what? That may also right. come with like I don't know time and maturity because. You know, I know people who I know a lot of people who initially didn't want kids, and as time went on, they were like, "Oh my gosh!" I have a baby. friend that just, that said like they didn't want kids because of the simple fact that the world is just wicked and evil, and they don't want to bring their yeah. challenges. Yeah. And I respect that. Yeah. But as for me and my house, right. it's gonna be full of kids running yeah. around, shitting, kids. And I bring my kids to your house, and they all have fun. Yeah. Yeah. They all throwing yeah. toys. I'm right. As long as Joey doesn't come over, we're good. What is that supposed oh. to mean? What's wrong with Joey? He's very calm. He's mean to me. He doesn't he's like me. He's spirited. He doesn't like me. He does like you. He's not welcome in my house. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my And if his, if his mother keeps talking, she won't be either. Oh, oh. I'm talking. No. <laughs> 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 he's going to give me a key name. Right, right. Like, what? Which is why we talked about this before. Be up front with what with what you want. If you don't right. want kids, don't even waste that person's time. Most people face the funk so they can get the nook. That's true. Mm. That's true. They trying to break the into nook. the monkey. It's so like, mm, the, monkey. the nook, the they monkey. Trying to get with you and that monkey. Who uh, mm. <laughs> was that? Into that situation. Oh, I think it's a T. Oh, never. Yeah, that's T. Pain. It's a T. Pain. But Jesus. most people we fake the funk just to get the person, and then it's like. You know, you didn't even want none of the things I wanted. You mm, like absolutely. so, like you just, just be honest. Mm. <laughs> 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 Your yeah. what? Coach, my my cat coach. <laughs> Back in the day, we used to say kitty cat, kitty cat, cootie cat, yeah, cootie cat, <laughs> cootie, <laughs> cootie, <laughs> cootie <laughs> mom, kitty. And then for boys, it was dingling, right, 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 right. Petey weedy, Petey, <laughs> Petey, <laughs> Peter Wacker. You know, all kind of stuff. All right, yeah, we, we got <laughs> on topic. So, <laughs> topic number three. Your mate got a job in another state. You never wanted to relocate, but would you? Would you make that sacrifice? First of all, you bite your nails off. You, know, you, 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 you go first. We we'll go first. Okay, if you want me to pack up my bags and go, then you be okay with me not working because obviously I didn't left exactly. my job. Exactly, you got a job. I didn't. So yeah. you better make sure I'm okay take out care here. Of me. Take care of me until I get on my feet. And then think about this. What if he take you like out in the stick, like an old southern back alley woods mm. country, like where it's just like my husband. <laughs> this goes back to my husband. <laughs> I mean, I'm riding die. I'm riding die. Uh, but what would you do? I don't think I'm gonna go. Hey. Be, no, let me tell you the truth. That because the type of career path that I I have for myself, it, I don't envision me just if it ain't Atlanta, Chicago, or California. I don't see me in that. Yeah, I can't see like, you with boondocks nowhere. I'm not gonna be out. Like putting, doing the pigs <laughs> and the cows and, uh, like, it is, and uh, hopefully this job is making a lot of money because like you said, like you got a job. Yeah. I don't have one. So now I got to go down and look for a job. Don't yeah. complain about me, you know, sitting around and you know, what, because this is And don't complain about me being depressed because mm-hmm. that, like, I ain't got nothing. I didn't pack up. You know? At the same time, I like to travel too. So it's just like, That's true. you know, I get to explore the world, but I don't know. what about you, Keita? It depends on the job too. That's true. <laughs> it, it, That's true. If it's a lot of money, I'm gone. <laughs> it, it, it goes back to what you said. How much time do we have invested in one another? Are you my, you know, my husband? You know, uh, what you know? Are you? Well, first of all, you have a really bad habit of asking questions for me. Mm. Come on, now this is the second to last show. Let's end it on a good note. Mm. <laughs> See, mm. it's too late. It's too late. Um, we, we've already went through this basket yeah, phase because you're the one too. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So that's that. Um, no, what oh, I, 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 I would like to think, I, I would, you know what I'm saying, because I feel like I'm going to be taken care of, but it's like y'all said, like, you know, it's, it's that, that's a huge sacrifice. Like that's you, a huge you sacrifice. You pretty much mm-hmm. sacrificing yourself, just like yeah. your happiness, anything that you have going on where you are, you're sacrificing all that to say, okay, I'm going to pack up and follow you where you go. That's love. Yeah, that's true. that's that love, love. Like I gotta be like head over heels in love. Like mm. 
if you say jump, I'm like, how high? That's the kind of love. Like, right. but I ain't, I don't see me ever being in that kind of love. love. I'm like, oh, look. Family family guys, so how would you, you know, moving away from uh, Sue? And uh, that, that, that's what, that's, she coming with you. Never that's going to happen eventually yeah. anyway. Right. But, um, yeah. I don't. It goes back to the sacrifice thing. Love, sometimes it's not all about making the ultimate sacrifice. You don't have to give up your that's entire true. life. It should compliment. If it don't compliment you and you don't want to go, you don't have to go. Which brings me to my segment. Oh. Go ahead, Wes. Come on. What this the last time. Be nice about it. Be nice now. Be nice no. about it. Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so we are here with the 411 with my girl Kita. Um, so yes. Well, I was not ready to ask the question yet. Okay. <laughs> What's the 411? Well, it's a nice shirt. Sacrifice. Thank you. So this show is about sacrifices, which brings me to my segment. I know you guys are used to me telling you to, you know, at the bottom of the screen, check this website out. But this is my last segment. I ain't doing that shit. Oh, oh. I'm different. Oh. Come on, I'm different. Come on. This is I want to talk about. I'm something. proud of you. Okay. Thank you. you're so boxed in most of the time. So it's good to see oh you stepping outside of the box. <laughs> Get on my nerves. <laughs> so the name of the show is called Sacrifices. My segment. It's called sacrifice versus compromise as okay. far as relationships go. Okay. So okay. people need to understand there is a difference between a sacrifice and a compromise. Compromising is mutual. Mm -hmm. That's between your 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 gal, your girl, y'all, you we, know, mutually we decide that we're gonna do something. Yeah. yeah. Sacrifice is, you know what, okay, you know, I won't go to the show because, you know, he don't feel like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm on a the negative end of it, if you will, mm -hmm. and somebody else is getting something positive out of it. So mm -hmm. it's one right. side, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um compromise has a specific goal. So like we just talked about moving. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If you come if you guys come okay, I'll compromise with you. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go to Nevada with you know and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. Mm -hmm. That's a mutual decision and you're ultimately, you know, you have a goal in mind. Mm -hmm. okay. Sacrifices are not like that. That's like, okay, I don't even want to go. I'm about to move mm -hmm. and leave my whole family, but I guess I'll go. And then you made all happy and stuff. That's mm -hmm. sacrifice, you know what I mean? Yes. So in a relationship, I feel like there are a few things that you should never, ever sacrifice. Okay. Never ever sacrifice. Number one being friendships. You should never sacrifice your friendships. Yes, you're, you have your relationship with your man or with your boo, your girl, whoever, but as far as your friendships go, never sacrifice that. If anything, just prioritize them, but never push your friends away. Because ultimately, these are the people that you go to, you know what I'm saying, to cry on, to talk to when you have nobody else to talk to. It's good to talk to your mate, but you always need somebody outside just to be able to vent, just to drink wine with, whatever the case may be. Yeah. So never sacrifice your friendships. Number two, never sacrifice your hobbies or your interests. If somebody loves you, they're going to support mm -hmm. you in everything that you do. Even if it's not their cup of tea, they're going to try it with you. Okay, I don't really like to paint, but I'll go with you, Kita. I'll just try it this one time. You know, they'll they'll do that for you. Yeah. You know, never sacrifice what you enjoy doing. Never. You know what I'm saying? You enjoy being on stage. Yes. If your mate don't like that, that's not the person Do say that, please. You know what oh, I mean? So. I'll get you down real quick. Real quick. <laughs> real quick. Real quick. And number three, never, ever, ever in a relationship sacrifice your sense of self. Do not lose yourself to anybody. You are who you are. Be that person. Yes. No matter who you with. If you if you by yourself, if you with somebody, never change who you are for somebody. Never give up your identity for anybody. Never change. You know, we, we are who we are for a reason. So, you know, like I said, there are differences between sacrifices and compromises. In relationships, it should be a compromise. No one should ever really sacrifice. Yeah, Tita. That's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. The 411. She broke it down. Never. The one that's not the most. Right. That's dope. That's so dope. And you know what else? Since I just really like, guess what else I'm gonna do right? Send me trip. Send me trip. Welcome back to Sip and Trip. Y'all know how it go. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Pull the question, answer the question next. Who's going first? I'm going first. Okay. All right. Start it off with. They call it like, what? Put those okay. back in there for me, would you? <laughs> I'm going to do it because it's the second leg. <laughs> <laughs> if you can go back in time and give your parents advice before you were born, what advice would you give them? Okay. I know this is going to sound like like one of the craziest things I ever heard, but if I can give my parents some advice before I was born, it would be that they probably should have never got together. Hey, no, mm -hmm. that's real. That's real. That's, that's not, I'm not going to expound. They know why. 
Okay. Mm, but then you gonna be here though. I think God would still made a way for me to be okay. here and just be here. He came. He came somehow. I would have got you. Somebody would have nutted and made me. Okay. That spirit, right. This spirit would have still got down here. Yeah, but I heard the man. It's just, it, it, you know, certain things just called, like, it was like, you know, like domino, domino. Yeah. Like, Y'all got together. And then my life is, like, I'm not going to say my life has been, he's been hell. Mm -hmm. And so it could, a lot of stuff could have been avoided had they just, okay. you know, even their, yeah, them do, dealing with each other us. was yeah. hell. So. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm I get saying. what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. I pulled. What part of your body is your favorite? Um, I like my cheekbones. Ooh. Me. You do have nice cheekbones. Ooh, that's it. Cheeks. Cheekbones. That's how you look. That's how cheekbones look. That's how you're going to look with the Botox. I like my cheekbones. Yeah. I'm going to be like, give me those. I'm with those Kitas. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> the <laughs> special <laughs> edition Kitas. <laughs> 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 yes. Alright, here we go. What you got to do? Something nasty. Be with me. <laughs> it's probably nice today. It is the second before last show. Oh, God. No! <laughs> oh, no, Shawnee. You did it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you ever orgasmed slash nutted twice in one go? No. What the kind of goddamn <laughs> question is now? No. What? Oh, God, that makes Shawnee come twice. What? Honestly, no. So, where you at? Oh, <laughs>
So we're going out with a bang, huh? Yeah, let's hear it. All right, let me see. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, God, wait. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, <laughs> I would have to say, is this thing was real crazy. So like, this is a wild day. Maybe like four or five. Okay. That's a lot of damn sex. I just like twice. Even when you were younger. Once I once I come, it just be like I don't. I, I don't even know. I'd be over. Like, take me down like six or something. What? See, that's what I'm saying. I would love to meet somebody. I can't like, do it no more. Just I would love to meet somebody and like give me to go ten. That ten rounds. Right. 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 Wow. You can't go extreme. I'm gonna be up in that. You gotta extremely tired. Yeah. You know what? Dope pants. Y'all see what? I can't do. I can't even look at. I can't even look at this way. So the show is called Sacrifices. My segment was called Compromise. Yes. Compromise is not about losing. It's about deciding that the other person has just as much right to be happy and as you do. I like that. I deserve to be happy too. So that's why it's important to compromise and not sacrifice in a relationship. Yeah, most definitely. Teacher. I like that. Who's next? All right. Um, my quote is from Dennis Kimbrough. It says, life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. Very true. And that's so true, true. Because you can be living your life, stressing out about some shit that happened 20 years ago. True. You know, affecting and blocking your blessings. Yes. Like, just let it go. Yes. yes. You yes. know, if something tra tragic happens, we have the choice to just laugh about it yeah. if we want to. Push on. Yeah. Push on. You don't always have some issues, even with drama. You know, it's not the drama that's brought your way. It's how you respond to it. Yeah. So, I love that. You better say that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so mine says, strong minds discuss ideas, average minds discuss events, weak minds discuss people. And I think oh, that's like Socrates. Is that was, okay. I don't know oh, if that's okay. Yes. That's, I think they put it in no, cursive. Strong minds discuss ideas. I love that. Yeah, I like I that. that. I like that. But the, those weak minds. That's the really people. general. You're talking about people like, why are we so caught up in what the next yeah. person is doing? What you need to do is first focus on what you should yeah. be doing. Yeah. You know? What TDJ uh -huh. say? He said, we so caught up in everybody else's life. We so know so much about other people's lives. We don't know nothing about ourselves. Yeah. When you can like, look in the mirror and not even know the hell you're looking at. Because yeah. you're so caught up. But you yeah. know everybody else's business. Right but down. you know nothing about yourself. Yep. That's, exactly. that's powerful. That is, and I, I think that. we see we a lot of this like when we on social media because most of the people who's like mm -hmm. posting these pictures and they half naked and mm -hmm. you know, all the BS yeah. like trying to get all these, these billions of likes and different stuff that. like that. Those that. are people who, you know, they these are the same yeah. people that's discussing what's going on in your life and your life and their life bringing you mess and bringing you drama. Mm -hmm. But they don't have nothing for themselves. They're trying to get them. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it from everybody else. Yeah. But at right. the end of the day, you're still unhappy. Yeah. And you so never can feel that boy. Nobody, Nobody anytime you, you have to log on to get that validation, mm -hmm. there's a problem. There's a problem. That's true. That's true. That's another Ooh, example of a weak mind, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We always talking about our next moves. So. Because we're going to okay. always be fresh as hell. If the fans watch it. You <laughs> we want to uh, thank our executive producer, Mr. Just King. Thank, thank you for everything. Sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Beat Spot Twiz the Wiz. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We've been rocking out to him all season. Make sure you all visit YouTube under Open My Production. This may be the second to last show, but YouTube is always there. Visit it. <laughs> visit the. Call the number if you like. We love you. Call yes. the number. We love y'all. Yes. I love y'all. I love, love you too. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>